question. How will you please? Okay. I uh, no guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worried? No, certainly not. I'm not worried. Bruno decided that he got. I don't know why is it the, the whole morning the, the case they're not registered here. yet. They have not. Uh, they're moving you here and there. Prepare, and, but they already. One thing for sure is they want to catch me. <laughs> Are you? Uh, what church is this? I'm not sure. I see an unusually loud, like, large crowd there. Do you appreciate the moral support you've been given? Yeah, yeah. I, the point is, um, we are not have done nothing wrong, and it's, uh, the people are supporting me, and we also have seen. Uh, okay. You just made outside. Okay. There's an ongoing trial. Oh. Okay. Hello. I thought you want to make some comments. Oh, to me. Yes. Yes. On this uh, trial, I know the charges have been preferred. Yes. But uh, how do you see it as a political move, a legal move? It's obviously a political move. We don't expect that this charge will ever stick in a court of law if the judge is neutral, as he should be. And uh, not to forget that he's been charged under the Sedition Act, which Najib has pledged to do away with. Why are they now using the Sedition Act uh, to charge Kian Chua? It smells of a rat. Obviously, Najib is desperate on the situation in Sabah, which, uh, uh, according to analysis by UITM lecturer Arnold Poyo, is that uh, 14 of the Chinese and uh, uh, the Karazan, uh, Karakasazan uh, Murut seats will go to BKR from Sram, which means to say 14 plus the two that has come over to be with us in Pakata Riot, uh, Wilfred Bumburing and Dato Sri Lajim, both of them coming over would make 16 out of the original 25, which means he is desperate. Najib is desperate, Amno is desperate, they need every means possible, devious or otherwise, to manipulate the situation, to manipulate the Malay Muslim mind. That is their end game. But the charge by itself will not stick. Thank you. Thank you.